back out in the Wichita mountains. Kind of a foggy morning. Uh, it's in the 40s. Figured it was a good day to get a hike in. Uh, my buddy Nathan reached out to me and asked me if he wanted to go hiking. Uh, couldn't turn that offer down, so here I am out here. We're gonna check out the western side of the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge, uh, Charon's Garden Wilderness Area. Uh, more specifically, we're gonna target Mount Mitchell. Uh, it's one of my favorite mountains. Uh, it's also known as uh, Charon's Garden Mountain. Uh, you know, it, people get it confused often, but uh, a lot of the hikers later unofficially named it Mount Mitchell in memoriam of uh, Dr. Philip Mitchell that passed away in the rock rooms uh, back in the 90s. But uh, anyway, should be a good day to hike. Uh, temps are going to stay pretty low. Uh, you know, if it does heat up and the sun comes out, I wouldn't rule out seeing a reptile or two, but uh, we'll see. Uh, we're going to go look for the cave with the iron stove in it, maybe the Indian chief head. Uh, we're just going to kind of take our time. Uh, we're not in a rush today, so let's uh, see what we can come across out here. It's really beautiful. I've always seen the fog, you know, at 2,000 feet and above, but it's just you know everything's so low today you can see it rolling over mount sheridan and mount roosevelt over there wall mountains barely sticking up and of course you can see mount scott really pretty central peak and of course you can barely see mount sherman sticking up over there fort sill feels good out here this morning heading into sharon's garden We're about halfway to Mitchell, uh, Elk Mountain, Mount Lincoln, Glass Mountain Peak, Ferryman's Traverse with uh, Crab Eyes, Lost Dome, and then that's where we're heading, Mount Mitchell. Feels good out here. No sounds except for the jets flying overhead. Now we made a detour by Lost Dome, checking out the clam. Nathan hadn't seen this yet, so swing it through here real quick. Mitchell. We're going to head this direction. We're going to go down by Cowboy Falls, go through the Dead Tree Field, and head that way towards the Indian Head. I've seen a million pictures of it and never actually put my own eyes on it, so hopefully we can find that. This is the end of Ferryman's Traverse. Widowmaker is right there on the end. Still haven't seen anything too interesting yet. Alright, so that's the Chief Head. Still a little too much to the right. We'll go further down here, it'll fill out and be able to see it better. That's it, and then Churns Garden Mountain is directly ahead, and then this will turn into Badass Canyon and head off of the Wichita Mountains. It's pretty area. Yep, so that's the chief head, so we're gonna go ahead and go around the south side of it, and then we're gonna go up Mitchell, head to the summit of that guy. Now, that's Mount Awesome. We summited that guy back in March. Granite Mountain over there, so this will be Badass Canyon. And then we've got Churns Garden Mountain. And the Indian heads back behind us. All right. Keep on walking on around and approach Mitchell from the south, southeast. Be hard to see on this GoPro, but there's a couple of elk that we stirred up. They're right there. They're running up Mount Mitchell. We're actually about to head that direction. And come up the southeast side of Mount Mitchell Massive. But there goes the elk. They're heading on up the same direction we're going. That's a bomb and a baby. Yeah, yeah, that one is a youngster. Hello. Haven't seen any bull elk yet. They're going. Well, we're on our way up Mitchell. Southeast face. There's still a lot more to go even after you get to that part right there. I don't know if that's Areola or if that's Stormtrooper. Looks like an areola. Most things out here do. I mean, my mind's just geared that way, I don't know. Still going up Mitchell. Just taking a break. There is a tick on my GoPro. Nice. On the screen, a little teeny tiny one, dude, but it's a tick. Wow. Be That's good to know. Guaranteed. It's a good view of Charon's Garden Mountain, Granite Mountain, and Twin Rocks Mountain. Almost to the summit of Mount Mitchell. Nope. Alright, we're getting some tricky spots here. Oh. 
Yeah, we should be able to get to the summit. Huh. We should be able to get to the summit from here. It's not too bad. All right, we're on top of Mount Mitchell Massif. We're on the southeast summit. Good view of the rest of the western side of the refuge. Those are all known as the Charon's Garden Mountains. Diving board, Seven Falls, and all that's over there. Not worth the trip today because it hasn't rained in a while. That's the western summit of Mount Mitchell. So we're going to drop down, take the dead tree field, and go in the middle, the top of the massif. You can see Haley Peak way out there. That's the tallest mountain in the Wichita Mountains. It's off limits. I'm going to climb it one day. Just don't know when. Anyway, it feels good up here. Look at that fog rolling in from the southwest. This was all supposed to clear out. It's not clearing out. It's pretty though. Yeah, so that's the true summit, at least the highest summit there on Mitchell, above 2,000 feet. Got some clouds going over it. We're heading that direction. We are now looking for the cave with the iron stove. Crumbling rock is not what you want when you're climbing. That's probably doable, huh? Yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah, there's not much to it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I came down this way. I probably took a peek at this and said, nope, I'm gonna go a different direction. F-18 Hornet. Where's the other one? They're always in pairs. He sounded a lot lower than that. <laughs> yeah, this would be hard in the warm weather. That cave should be right up there. Look at that. Go ahead. All right, excuse me. It's still there. This is known as the cave, the little iron stove. Phew. Most caves out here are actually mines. Yeah. Probably kept them warm. It does go quite a ways back. Yeah, it goes further than what it looks. I mean, it's kind of shooting. All right, so that's the cave with the iron stove. All right, we're gonna head out of here and head on down Mitchell. Now we're completely off of Mitchell now. Now we're headed back to Sunset Parking Lot, heading east, back in that valley where we cut off and went down Mitchell Canyon. Here comes the sun. So that's Cowboy Falls. It's trickling right now. Yeah, I've got a video where it's going pretty well. It's got to rain about three inches in about 12 hours. And you can come out here and see it, and it's pretty neat. Still heading back towards sunset. All right, so I did about a, I don't know, probably eight to 10 mile hike. Saw the Indian Chief Head. Saw the cave with the uh, iron stove. Uh, pretty good hiking. I saw a lot of elk, uh, a few bull elk from far away, no snakes. 
So it's a good day for hiking in the Wichita's. Till next time.